good morning. We are going to get started on our morning work for Monday, November 2nd. So if you'll please go grab your morning workbook. We are going to start our day out on page 37. Page 37. Let me go grab the camera. All right. So page 37. We are starting on language. Read the sentence, then complete it using a preposition from the word box. So we're using the word below, before, over, and past. So looking at number one, the park is just blank, the grocery store. Try each of these in there and see which one makes the most sense. Put on your gym shoes, blank, beginning to exercise. Which one could you put in there that would make the most sense? Number three, the exit sign is blank, the door to the playground. Which one would make most the most sense? Mrs. Yin keeps a box of stickers, blank her desk. So which one would make the most sense? So go through and write down which one that you think, and we're gonna correct this tomorrow, so you need to have make sure this is finished today. Then on math, we're just gonna be multiplying. Five groups of 10, nine groups of 11, we can do our nines trick. Eight groups of nine, you can do our nines trick. Six groups of eight, you might have to draw some pictures over here. You might wanna do um, five groups of eight first because you can skip count by five and then add one more eight. Four groups of 20, you might have to draw a picture for that one. One group of 46, two groups of 20, 15 groups of three or three groups of 15. You might have to draw some pictures or do some adding there as well. All right, then at the bottom, it says read the text, then answer the question. So we're gonna think about the questions while we're reading. Number 13 says, what kind of place does Brandon live in? How do you know? And number 14 says, would you want to be in the setting of the story? Tell why or why not? Okay, so we're looking at the kind of place Brandon lives in. How do we know that? And would you want to be where he is? Why or why not? Brandon finished his hot cocoa. Mmm, that was good, he said. He headed to his room. There, he put on thick, warm pants. He pulled a wool sweater over the long-sleeved shirt he was already wearing. Then... He fitted each he lifted, excuse me, each leg to step into his snowsuit. After that, he put down after that he sat down and slipped on snug boots. Next, Brandon put on a thick coat. He wrapped a wool scarf around his neck and put on his thick warm gloves. Mom, I'm just running out to get the mail from the mailbox, he yelled. All right, let me read that one more time. Brandon finished it. Brandon finished his hot cocoa. Mmm, that was good, he said. He headed to his room. There he put on thick, warm pants. He pulled a wool sweater over the long sleeve shirt he was already wearing. Then he lifted each leg to step into his snowsuit. After that, he sat down and slipped on snug boots. Next, Brandon put on a thick coat. He wrapped a wool scarf around his neck and put on his thick, warm gloves. Mom, I'm just running out to get the mail from the mailbox, he yelled. What kind of place does Brandon live in? How do you know? Would you want to be in the same setting? Would you want to be where Brandon lives? Why or why not? Explain. All right, so we will correct that tomorrow. So make sure that you get all of that done today while you are doing your schoolwork. And then that way it will be more meaningful learning for you tomorrow when we correct it. All right, guys, so today we're doing our vocabulary. We're getting our five new words and definitions. So I will meet you over in our vocabulary lesson.